video, I'm going to take a stab at doing a tutorial on the Roland TD-1K electronic drum set. Uh, what I'm trying to show off here is how you can set up samples on any drum in particular, but what I'm using is the cymbals on my Roland TD-1K. So I have this instrument rack here, and there is four drum racks to work with and I have them all set to chain selector and I have some MIDI clips with information ready to go this one is set to play the first one and then I believe every time I click on these you should be able to see the chain selector moving so there's that one we'll go back to this one so the way this is being done is through a launch envelope, so we'll just stop that. Hear the click track going. Stop. Alright. So you go to your envelope, and then it's right now it's set to chain selector. So every different track I have set up, so we'll go to this one. That's the chain selector that's set up. So we go to this next one. It's the bottom one, it's hard to see, but these are all set up as different instruments every time. So not only do I have a launch envel an envelope going, uh, whatever you want to call it, I'll edit that. I also have a launch scene going. So for it plays for 16 bars, and then it goes down to the next one. So for 16 measures, it's playing at one certain instrument rack. So for 16 measures, it's playing this one. And then 16 measures, this one. 16 measures, this one. 16. You can automate this as much as you want. Just set them up in an instrument rack. Uh, set up the chain selector on one of the macro knobs. And then just program MIDI clips. But all the MIDI clip does is move to the next instrument. You can do this with any single instrument but I'll show off a demonstration video of what it sounds like uh, when these I'll just give you this is what it would look like when I am playing it on there then it goes to the next one it goes to the next one on its own and you can you can program a song that it automatically changes in the arrangement view but I like to do it this way for session view that way I can play all this stuff live and the instruments automatically change on their own so this is a way for me to be able to change instruments, change sounds, and really all I'm doing is just playing the same instrument. All I'm doing is playing my Roland TD-1K. And with that alone, you can put on a show. So there, just went to the next sample. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown before I show you the cymbals, how to set up samples on the cymbals themselves. So first, what you do is you hit the cymbal and you find it on your drum rack. There it is. So it would be this note, and I threw in an instrument rack, and I layered a ride on there, and also another sample. So not only do you get the ride sound, but you also get, let's see, it's, sen it's, see, it's velocity sensitive, so that's another thing I was going to show off, that these are set to a certain velocity that you, you can hit the ride softly, you gotta hit a little harder to trigger. You see what it takes? It takes a little bit harder to trigger the actual sample yourself. So this way, you can ride the cymbal a little bit and not accidentally hit the the sample. Then you hit it hard, and it's that sample. Then you find the crash, and you do the appropriate thing. So I'll show you that in the next video.